What's up guys, A Star for Bands here and today I'm going to be telling you how to get from zero to 100,000 subscribers. So if that's what you're looking for, then stay tuned because that's what's coming up next. You can love me again. So recently, I posted a video titled how to make reaction videos, right? And the proper way to make them, the good way to make them, a way that's worked for me. And in that video, in the comment section, I had countless people asking me, how do I now grow my channel? How do I grow it? I'm making the videos, I'm making the content, but I'm not seeing any progress. So this is exactly what this video is going to be telling you about. I am going to give you five, five tips that if you follow, you'll definitely grow your channel. You'll start to see that grow, that growth. And if you're consistent, you will get to 100,000 subscribers and you will get that plaque, that 100K plaque, okay? So, first thing, and this is very, very, I can't stress the importance of this, but you have to, master making eye-catching thumbnails and eye-catching titles. I'm sure you've noticed with your favorite YouTubers, they have, the first, maybe it was the first time you met them or you met their channel, or maybe it's, you know, every time they post a video. But I'm sure you've noticed that they do have a thumbnail that makes you want to click on the video. It gathers a lot of interest and a title that makes you think, hmm, I wonder what that's about, or hmm, no way, I can't believe it. It has to be something, it might be a bit clickbaity, it might be a bit, but at the end of the day, this is an advertisement for your channel. This might be the first time someone is coming across your channel or coming across one of your videos. So this is your opportunity to draw them in and get them to subscribe. And this is how your channel grows. So you've got to take that opportunity. Now, I've seen a lot of people do make really, really, you know, cool looking thumbnails and they look amazing and they, they, it shows that they can use Photoshop very, very well. But what I, will, what I will say is firstly, you don't need Photoshop. You can use any tool, picture making tool. I'm sure you can find loads of videos on YouTube. Just search how to make a good thumbnail. I might make that my next video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. But secondly, what I will say is is that I've seen a lot of people that make uh, thumbnails on Photoshop and they look amazing and they look, you know, you can tell they're professionals. But the thing is, it's not making you want to click on your video. It has to be enticing. You have to entice me, you need to draw me in. You need to make me gather interest in your video. I need to invest in whatever you're about to show me. And that's the key to making a good thumbnail. And that's complemented by the title of the video. The title has to be something I'm interested in. Which draws me to tip number two, which is being very, very smart, almost strategic, almost methodical about what you're talking about, the topics that you're talking about on your channel. Okay, for example, right now, coronavirus, right? So that might be something that's gathering a lot of interest, but you've got to add a twist to it to make it interesting, hence the thumbnail and the title. But maybe that's something that's gathering interest. However, Football, for example, or soccer, if you, or sports in general, that's been paused all around the world. So maybe that's not something that people want to kind of hear about right now because there's nothing really happening. So that's not really a topic that's gonna gather a lot of interest. So I'm not saying you should make videos about coronavirus. I'm just trying to say that you should pay attention to what's happening in the world. Pay attention to what's happening in your particular area of content. What, are you, what do you talk about on your channel? and what's happening now with regards to what you talk about on your channel. So what I would say is it's always a good idea to look at, you know, uh, content creators that create similar content to you and kind of see what they're doing, look at what's working for them and adapt that to your channel and make, you know, a video. Don't copy what they do. You've got to add a twist. It's got to be unique. It's got to be authentic, but that's always a good um, starting point. So the next thing we're gonna talk about, and this is this is actually 
the main reason why how I got to 100,000 subscribers in less than a year and this is listen to your subscribers okay you have to listen to your subscribers I promise you it will pay out even if you've only got 10 20 100 subscribers those 100 will have ideas for you they've subscribed you've already got their interest they will comment down below and make sure you're telling them to comment down below new ideas they will do it and if they do this is what you got to look out for if one or if no not one if two or more people have asked for the same thing there's a good good chance that that's something that's going to gather a lot of interest okay and i'm talking about if you have 10 subscribers if you have 100 then maybe look out for five or more if five or more people have asked for the same type of thing for example let's say you're a channel that likes to do a lot of pranks and 10 people in your comment section said can you do this particular prank there's a good chance that if you do that prank not only are those 10 people going to watch but a lot more a lot more like-minded people will also watch that video okay if you're smart about the thumbnail and the title again look at what other content creators are doing and kind of soak that in but yes listen to your subscribers because that's exactly how i got to 100k okay Tip number four, new topics in order to gain new subscribers. Hear me out. Let's say, and this is more for the people who, you know, have seen a bit of growth, but have kind of plateaued a bit. Maybe their subscriber count per day, you know, isn't what it used to be. And maybe that's because your niche is very, very small and you kind of gathered all the interest you can at this point in time new topics bring new subscribers it brings new interest and don't worry what you what you, your, your current topics will always be there you can always go back to that but you have to be risky and go for new topics because that's the only way you're going to gain new subscribers you need to find people who uh wouldn't have found your channel before okay so let me let, let me give you an example to illustrate my point let's say I'm gonna make this as simple as possible. Let's say you like the color blue, right? And you like to talk about the color blue a lot. You like colors, but blue is your favorite color. And maybe everyone who likes the color blue as well has subscribed to your channel, right? To hear you talk about the color blue. However, because you like colors, maybe you like the color red as well. That's your second favorite color. So a new topic is talking about the color red as well. Now you've got blue for the people that like blue but now you've got red so all of a sudden the people that like the color red are going to come to your channel as well I know it's a silly example but just think about that by the time you hit every single color in the rainbow you're hitting everyone all your target audience for people who like colors will now be on your channel think about it okay and that brings me to my final point tip number five and this one I know I said the last one was probably a difficult one but this one's probably the most difficult because it involves a lot of risk a lot of risk especially if your channel is 20k 30k 50k this one is quite risky but there's no risk without reward okay and if you combine all the previous steps then this step will work and that's new content bring a fresh content to your channel it's something that I'm trying to do and I've been doing recently because if you look at my channel I post mostly reaction videos about Brazilian football but given the current climate it's difficult there's no football at the moment not only that but I want to expand my audience like I said so new content now you're gonna notice at first there's gonna be a big decrease in views but you need to give it time give it time to marinate give it time to reach the new audience because right now YouTube's algorithm will send your content to the people that it thinks likes what you normally do however you're doing new stuff now so when the people that like your normal content doesn't like the new stuff, you need time for it to reach new subscribers, you know? So maybe once, if you post one new, like, okay, let me give you an example. Let's say, like, let's say you do, uh, like me, you do reactions, but you've always wanted to do vlogging, you know, daily vlogging, or you've wanted to do travel vlogs. Probably not a good idea right now. Or you want to do, 
I don't know, um, pranks or something like that. If you post one or two, you're going to see the decrease in views. But once you start to post more of those, that new content, you're going to start to attract because you're being consistent now. Four, five, six pranks. Now YouTube's going to start sending you people, sending people who like pranks to your channel. That's just the way it works. So you've got to take a risk. It's risky at first, but if you stick with it, you will gain those new subscribers. The same way with when you start your channel, it's the same thing now with gaining new subscribers. You've got to kind of reinvent yourself all the time. So at first you stick to your niche, you grow, and once you start to see that, you know, it's plateauing a bit, you bring new things in, new types of content, different ideas, listen to your subscribers, create enticing thumbnails, right? New topics, new content. Do all of those things, not only will you get to 100,000 subscribers, but the sky will be the limit. So, that's it for the video. Those are my five tips. I really, really hope this helps you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. You can always follow me on my Instagram and that will probably be the best place to ask me the questions because I do respond better on my Instagram. I might make this um, a series on this channel or I might make a brand new channel for this type of content because it is different to my normal content. So let me know what you think. If you think I should make a new channel or if you like the content being here but the main thing is I want to help you guys because you guys have been asking me a lot of questions and I feel like I've got the answers I've got the plaque to prove it so but let me know how it goes you know um, and if you do see a, a growth then come back to the video make sure you like it make sure you subscribe make sure you share help others that are starting YouTube and we'll go from there but there will be more videos coming in terms of how to and how I did things on YouTube. So let me know what you want to see specifically in the comments down below and we can get it popping. But yes, guys, we're going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.